Now in this lesson we look at graphing straight lines using the intercepts. Now we need only to find two points that satisfy the equation and then draw a straight line passing through these points. And the best points to find are where the line cuts the x-axis and the y-axis. To do this we let x equals naught and that will give us the y-intercept. Okay, In other words, where it cuts the y-axis. And then we also let y equal naught. And that will give us the x-intercept. In other words, where it cuts the x-axis. So that's some important information there. Let x equals naught gives us the y-intercept. Let y equals zero, that gives us the x-intercept. Let's look at some examples. We are asked to draw the line 2x plus y equals 4. Now there's our little graph there. We'll work from that. First step, let x equal 0. So when x equals 0, we substitute for x. We substitute 0 there. And we get 2 times 0 plus y equals 4. And 2 times 0, of course, is nothing. So really, we simply have y equals 4. So we have x is 0 y is 4, that's the point, naught 4. So we can plot that point on our graph. Alright, you can see that's the y-intercept. Our next step is to find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0. So when y is 0, we substitute into our equation. We get 2x plus 0 equals 4. And 2x plus 0 is simply 2x. So we simply have 2x equals 4. And if 2x equals 4, of course, then therefore x must equal to 2. So what have we got? We've got x equals 2 and y equals 0. So the point there is 2, 0. And on the graph, that's where it is. Okay, you can see that's where it cuts the x-axis. So we've got our two points. Now we need to draw a straight line passing through these points. There it is. And recall our earlier work on graphing. We always make sure we label the graph. Excellent. Now, recall then, x equals 0 gives us the y-intercept, y equals 0 gives us the x-intercept. Let's look at doing some further examples. The second one we need to draw the line y equals 3x minus 6. Again, we draw a graph. Now, the, firstly, the y-intercept, let x equals 0. We substitute that into the equation we get that y equals 3 times 0 minus 6. And 3 times 0 is nothing. Take away 6 is negative 6. So we get that therefore y equals negative 6. So the point x is 0, y is negative 6. That is this point. And we plot that on the graph. So it's down there. That is our y-intercept. Now let's try for our x-intercept by letting y equals 0. So when y is 0, we substitute that into the equation. We get 0 equals 3x minus 6. So we need to solve that equation. We take the negative 6 over, it becomes positive 6. So 6 equals to 3x. And therefore, x equals to 2. So our point x is 2, y is 0, has coordinates 2, 0. And we plot that particular point again on the graph. All right, that will be our x-intercept. So we have our two points, we draw the line through the points, and we label the graph. Okay, not too hard, is it? We'll do one more example. Here's our third example, draw the line y equals 2x. So again, start by drawing up a number plane. x equals 0 gives us our y-intercept. So when x is 0, we substitute that in, we get y equals 2 times 0, and that's not too hard to work out, we get y equals 0. So we have x is 0, y is 0, coordinates 0, 0, so there's our point there. Right? Can you recall what that point is called? It's called the origin. Now, our x-intercept, well, we let y equals 0, we substitute that into the equation, we put y equals 0, we get 0 equals 2x, and solving that, we get, therefore, that x is 0 as well. So x is 0, y is 0. OK, but that point, we've already got it there, haven't we? It's the same point as the one before. 
So when that's the case, we need to find another point. All right, it's very hard to draw a straight line if we've only got one point we're dealing with. So we need to find another point. So we can do that by, say, let x equal 3. We could just choose any value of x, really. But when x equals 3 is a good one, that'll fit on the graph. We substitute that into the equation. We get y equals 2 times 3. And y equals 2 times 3, of course, therefore y equals 6. So we have the point where x is 3, y is 6. So the coordinates are 3, 6. And we plop that onto the graph. OK, last step then, draw the line through. And can you recall what the very last step is? Of course, to write the equation of the line. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.